13-year-old Baha is preparing for school. He arrived in Lebanon from Syria a year and a month ago. He recounts in detail. Baha's family lost their business and home in the war. The impact on Baha is long-lasting. When the family arrived in Lebanon, Baha almost lost a year of education. For a few months, he worked 12-hour days in a supermarket, delivering goods to homes. Early this year, Baha heard about a nearby school that just started a second shift in the afternoon for Syrian children. There are over 400,000 Syrian children of school age in Lebanon. To cope with the high demand, afternoon shifts were set up. UNHCR and its partners currently fund 90,000 places in morning and afternoon shifts. The challenges to the students and schools are many. In the second shift schools, uh, most of the directors, most of the teachers are trying to simplify the curriculum. They are trying even the math, the sciences, they are trying to translate it into Arabic, use the Arabic version of the Lebanese curriculum to explain to the students. Because the students who came from Syria, they do not know a foreign language, the French, which is mostly used in all our Lebanese schools. Baha registered at school in January this year, but he's already fluent in French. He has ambitions to become a nuclear physicist. He says he wants to be the most famous person in the world and enter the Guinness Book of Records. Now back at school, he's one step closer to achieving his dreams. <laughs>